Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here and today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of software for Windows and Mac. This is my favorite video converter software. I've actually been using it a while now and there's a free trial version, but it is premium software. But today I'm going to be going over my favorite things about it, how useful it is, and also the features that you guys might want to make use of. So it will be kind of like a little tutorial, but overall just my thoughts on the software. So without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Just want to mention first off that this video is sponsored by Wondershare. Okay, so here's the website. It's made by Wondershare and it does state that it converts into 1000 video formats at 30 times faster speeds. I'm guessing that's than other softwares out there. And there is also no quality loss. I can confirm that it did seem pretty quick when exporting. I don't know about 30 times faster. It didn't feel much faster than other ones I've tried, but it definitely did work efficiently. And in terms of pricing, it does price in annually at $60 for one PC. And you can actually go ahead and get the lifetime one for $70, which seems a much better deal. Or if you're going with business and you want to use this for your company, which is making videos and converting it to different formats, then you can go ahead and select a business plan. Same goes for if you're a student, there is an educational option which you need to fill in a form in order to get discount. But you can actually get it for $7.96 a month, which is around a 60% save. Definitely worth filling that in. Just want to say that if you do purchase this, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back. But obviously there's a free trial which you can go ahead and pick up anyway, which gives you limited export time and it also adds a watermark onto your video, but it does give you a great experience with the software before you purchase a license. Okay, so I'm on my computer right now. Obviously I have a MacBook, so I'm going to be running the Mac OS version, but here it is. Uni Converter opens up like this. You have a pretty minimal interface and you have this sort of option here to drag video or simply go ahead and click, which will open up your finder window. So in here, we can go ahead and select a video. I'm just going to go ahead and select a video I made, which happens to be the desk video. It will then load the file in and you can already see there is some options like clipping the video length, which will change the duration when you export it. So it kind of has some ability to video edit. It also has the ability to crop images. You can rotate, you can change the resolution, add multiple effects and filters in order to change the look and style of the video. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, saturation. There is a ton of things that you can do in here. Now, if you do want to make this video personalized to you or you want to charge people for it, you can go ahead and add a watermark so that if other people use it, it's obvious that they're stealing your video. And this can allow you to sell off videos to other people and then you can go ahead and remove the watermark. But this in itself is quite a powerful editor just for if you do want to tweak minor things about your video. Now, obviously, you're still going to want to use a high end video editor if you're making these types of videos but it's pretty good just to shorten the length or do a quick color change. And then we have this subtitle option here. This allows us to change the font and also import a subtitle package, which will allow us to have subtitles over our video. There's the ability to change the font size, the color, the transparency, and obviously change the position as well. So we can go ahead and do that if we want. I don't really want to do that for this. And in the audio, there's not too many options. Just simply goes ahead and allows you to tweak your volume. But back on the screen before, you can see that this is currently under converting. On the right here, we do have the ability to change stereo or mono. And you can go ahead and select different subtitles to export. So you might have different languages. It tells you the file size that it will be. And you can go ahead and actually type in a specific file size. And it will sort of adjust the video in order to keep the resolution the same, but reduce the file size. So it does that by changing the color bit depth and various different types of compression. Clicking on this drop down arrow here will open up this sort of window. This allows you to choose from many different types of formats for exporting. On the side here, we can choose the main category that we want to export for, like YouTube, and then you can go ahead and choose whether you want it in 1080p, 4K, 720, and so on. There's also a little button to edit as well, so we can even go ahead and tweak it even further than the presets. It even has the option to export in 3D for YouTube, but we can even make it MP4 in 4K. It's currently an MOV format. Or we could go make it an MKV file, an M4V file, or an AVI file. There's a ton of choice here. You have a lot of flexibility in the actual export file type, which is exactly what you want in a file converter. So it's pretty much got you covered in terms of every format I could possibly think of. Let me know down below if there's any that aren't listed here, but there's definitely quite a lot. As I did mention, there was a thousand export formats, like I said on the website. 
But if you don't know the exact format that you need, you can go ahead and choose via device. So you can choose your brand name on the left of the company that makes the device, and then you can go ahead and select the actual specific type of device, and that will export the video to make sure that it's compatible with it. Again, there's the option to sort of tweak it a little bit further. And then on the side here, we can choose to export to various editing software like iMovie, Final Cut, it's got loads of profiles so you can make your own sort of export type. There is a ton of options. They even have Final Cut Pro 7. Obviously I'm using Final Cut Pro X so that's what I would want to export to. But you still do have the option if you're running Final Cut old school style. At the bottom you can change the export location and you simply go ahead and hit export and it will go ahead and export. As you can see it says there are around six and a half minutes left which is actually really great because that's actually shorter than the length of the video. So that's always a good sign. Now that is just the converter section that I've covered. Now there's the download section, which allows you to go ahead and paste in a link which you copy from your browser. I've just pasted in a YouTube link and it allows you to actually go ahead and download your YouTube videos in full native 2160p. So that's in full 4K, which is insane. Normally downloaders online only allow you to do it in 720p or it may allow you to do it in 1080. Again, when you're downloading, you can choose the format, or you can simply go ahead and download an MP3 file, which is especially useful when I'm downloading music from YouTube videos, which are non-copyright. It also allows you to download subtitles with the video from YouTube. And the next section up is actually a DVD burner. So I don't actually have the ability to put a DVD in my laptop. There is no disk drive. I don't have an external one. I'm not really a big fan of disks, but if you do wanna export this to a disk, say you want to export some family videos or photos, you can go ahead and export that, simply load in the DVD, add the files, and you hit burn, and you're good to go. At the side here, you can see there's also the option to burn video as an ISO, which I thought was pretty interesting. And then over on the last section is toolbox. This is where all your main features are. So this has got sort of your image converter, your GIF maker. You can fix media metadata, so that's if like the date and time is wrong. You can compress video like I mentioned earlier. There's the option to convert video into VR format. In terms of the VR converter, you can choose whether it's 360 degrees, whether it's 180, and there's various different formats which I'm unfamiliar with, but they are there. And it does have the ability to choose which VR headset you want to export to. There's only HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and the Gear VR available, but it's a pretty nice feature to have. It has a CD burner, copier, and converter, a screen recorder, which is actually really nice and quite useful actually. And last up is the ability to cast media to your TV over Wi-Fi. This is cool, you can cast to various Chromecast devices and watch your movies or your videos on a big screen. And there's quite a few different devices supported. Now there is this transfer option which allows you to connect up an iOS or Android device. Then you can go ahead and select it, choose your videos which you wanna share and it will go ahead and put them on your device. This is also a nice little touch. However, you could just go ahead and plug it in and drag it over yourself. But it is really nice to have it all built within the one application. Anyway guys, that is pretty much my overview of this software and all the features that it brings, which I think is definitely great to have on your computer, especially if you're handling lots of media. But I guess if you're not really doing anything like file conversion, then this application might not be for you. But don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.